Well, I think that, I think Europe in general, whether it's European public or European elites or European corporations, to be concerned about this, this uh, rapidly intensifying uh, geopolitical rivalry between US and China, uh, they're very right to be concerned. There are many people in the US who are concerned about it. Um, because when, when you begin um, to go down the path of that kind of geopolitical rivalry, let's have separate blocks, let's try to contain China, let's make sure that U.S. Um, military hegemony is present on all continents and, and on all oceans in the world, um, there is a, a, a logic of escalation. The U.S. does something to contain China, China will slap back. Well, now, because of the polarization in the U.S., if Biden doesn't escalate, the Republicans will say he's soft on China and we're going to election. So there's a logic of escalation that's built in, which can be very dangerous. And I think in that light, it's very important for the European Union to preserve its strategic autonomy, if you want to put it in the terms that are often discussed here. Um, it's very important for, for the EU to keep a, a level head and, and not get drawn into this escalatory spiral because it will not be good for the EU just as it's not going to be good for the US or for China. Music